Grandad's Island by Benji Davies At the bottom of Sid's garden, through the gate and past the tree, was Grandad's house. There was a key under the flower pot, and Sid could let himself in any time he liked. One day, Sid called round to see Grandad, but he wasn't in any of the usual places. Then, just as he was about to leave, Sid heard Grandad calling. Ah, there you are, said Grandad. There's something I want you to see. Sid carefully climbed up the ladder. He had never been in Grandad's attic before. It was full of old boxes and things that Grandad had collected from around the world. At the far end of the attic, Grandad pulled a sheet down from the wall to reveal a big metal door. After you, Sid, he said. Sid turned the handle, clunk, and gave the heavy door a push. Sid found himself standing on the deck of a very tall ship. There was an ocean of rooftops all around. Grandad pulled a handle, burp, went the horn, and the ship lurched forward. Steady as she goes, Grandad boomed. Grandad was very good at steering the ship, and kept them on a smooth course across the rolling waves. Mile after mile, all they saw was sea and sky, sky and sea, until at last something appeared on the horizon. Land ahoy! shouted Sid. They dropped the ship's anchor and made their way to the shore. Grandad, don't you want your stick? Sid asked. Uh, no, I think I'll be all right said Grandad. In the thick jungle of the island, it was very hot. We must find a good spot for a shelter, said Grandad. At the top of the island, where a cool breeze blew through the trees, they found an old shack. There was a lot to do, but with a little help, they soon had everything ship-shape. They explored the island, high and low. At every turn, they saw new wonders. It was the most perfect place. Sid wished they could stay forever, but he knew that it would soon be time for them to leave. Sid, uh, there's something I've been meaning to tell you, said Grandad. You see, I'm thinking of staying. Oh, said Sid, but won't you be lonely? No, no, I, I don't think I will said Grandad, smiling. Before he set sail, Sid hugged Grandad one last time. He would miss him very much. Everyone came to wave goodbye. Across the waves, the ship chugged and churned. The journey seemed much longer without Grandad, but Sid steered the ship safely home. The next morning, Sid went back round to Grandad's house. It was just the same as it had always been, except Grandad wasn't there anymore. In the attic, it was very quiet. The big metal door wasn't there. It was as if it had never been there at all. Then, Sid heard something tapping at the window. He wondered what it might be. There, on the window ledge, was an envelope. Sid carefully prized it open.